Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and I was going to make a video for you today of a review and testing of my new uh, Dremel Multi Pro. I bought this off of eBay, but instead, I've already opened this off of camera, and I am now going to make a video of why I recommend you do not buy a Dremel or possibly too many uh, electric tools off of eBay or China. So my first impressions were overall quite good. As you can see on the box, this is just like the ad I bought it off of. It says Dremel Multi Pro, uh, you know, multi-purpose power tool with 15 accessories. I didn't even know that. Apparently it comes with all these Cool cutting tools, wood, drill bits, engravers, you know, bushing things, all that. Nice little changing tool, and apparently a, it grinds over a hundred different accessories you can buy, and apparently it also comes with a instruction book, hundred plus uses guidebook okay so let's let's open it up and see what it looks like it was thirty eight dollars the first thing I will say is I ordered it in November and it just got here so I was waiting quite a while as you can see there's nothing else in the box so first let's start with the guidebook um, if you open it up here um, now I'm no genius but uh does not look like 15 tools right there. I got two grinding tools, a wrench, and two mysterious spring things. So that was the first indication that something was up. Then I got this instructions book, which does not look like 100 uses to me. I could be wrong though. It's basically just safety. And then the actual unit itself. Now, it's not bad. It is quite a heavy unit. There it has the variable speed control. It probably weighs a few pounds, which is pretty darn good. 10,000 to 37,000 RPM as indicated on the box. Change your tool, just push this button down, loosen it, tighten it back up, push it down again, tighten it up. So very good design. It actually works with the tools it provided, which uh, obviously you hope it should, but just making sure. But the main reason I recommend you do not buy one of these off of eBay, now not eBay in general, because eBay can have stuff coming from Canada and the States too, but more or less from China, is I got the plug-in variety, and the end of the plug looks like this. And if you're not familiar, um, I am from Canada, I'm sure the states are the same. There's a bit of an issue here. I'm sure that would not be a good idea, but yes, this is an issue. Anyway, so I was going to use this to film some of my videos. I have a few cool projects, like little little zip guns and gadgets and stuff, where this would come in very handy. But I don't want to throw it out, so what I think I'm going to do is I might even have one at my house. If not, I'll go to Walmart and see if I can get a an adapter for like traveling and stuff so I can make this work. And I actually bought at a hardware store some of these little cutting tools, which should work in here. It's all universal, I believe. Yeah, it just fits right in there. And uh, I'll get making some cool videos for you. And I'll have a fun how-to video hopefully later this week. So look forward to that, but I thought I would show you this just in case you're an inventor like me and you were going to go ahead and save yourself 10 bucks. Uh, on, there was some on sale the other day for $45 at Canadian Tire. I wish I did it. This was 38 and I had to wait three months for shipping and it doesn't even work. So spend a little more money and go to your local hardware store. And uh, that's my little rant for the day. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.